while the ongoing crisis has perhaps hardened some positions on each side, there are voices calling for reconciliation and peace. Joining me now from Israel is one of them. Ayala Shalev, she's an Israeli activist for Combatants for Peace, a group of Israelis and Palestinians who support nonviolence and, and envision a two-state solution working side by side for peace and in peace. Ayala, welcome to our program. I'm sure you heard our Thank report you. from Philip Crowther. Nearly 19,000 people killed in Gaza. Uh, the situation there is described as hell on earth by the United Nations. More than 150 hostages still being held in Hamas after the brutal attack of October 7th. Having seen all this, having heard all the news, do you actually believe peace between the two sides is still possible? Bottom line, yes, it has to. There's no other uh, possibility, you know, at the end. Um, definitely uh, all this hostility, all this violence that aroused from the attack on October 7th and onwards has set everything back a few years. And um, But looking forward, there's no, there's no other way. There has to be, we, we need to learn to live together in this homeland, which is a homeland of both Palestinians and Israel Israelis. But, but Ayala, how do you take that first step? I mean, it, it seems like we can't even agree on a ceasefire. Time after time, it has been vetoed at the, at the United Nations, at the UN Security Council. So someone has to take that courageous first step. Where do we go from this point forward when there's disagreement even about the resolutions and the wording inside the resolutions? Yes, there's, there's a disagreement even on the facts. I, it, it's, there's a gap between uh, the people and the governments. Unfortunately, the governments make decisions. If you look at the people, you see much more uh, willingness to, uh, to, I don't know, peace is a big word, but to come together to get for, to, to resolve this ongoing terrible conflict that is just going on and on and on. It's like they hit, we hit, they hit, we hit. It has to stop. It, like if you look at it, not from a political interests point of view, but from a human point of view, it has to stop. And it can stop. I'm going to read something that uh, you said. You said, for me, change is not quieting the flames or putting everything in order. When I work towards change, I, am, I aim at changing profound concepts and cultivating true humanistic values, uh, such as freedom, equality, and justice. I'm a dreamer. I want to make the world a better place, and I know the way to do that is by educating our youth. Talk about how important, in your mind, education is here. I think that's a, it's, it's a long-term solution, but it's a, it's a key solution, because I know the education system right now doesn't educate for peace. We're very separated, even inside Israel, the Palestinians, the, what we call the Israeli Arabs, and the Israelis, the Jewish Israelis. And the education is, is a, a, a must component because we need to educate to peace instead of to educate to separation and fear, which creates hate, which we see the results. And we've been uh, under a very right-wing uh, government for the last year, but also in Netanyahu's uh, 20 years of uh, reign, the education is very right-wing and it's very um, one-sided. It's, it's, it's a complicated process, of course, but uh, like in, in, in a sentence, education has to be changed and has to be on both sides towards peace. I, uh, we, I only have a few minutes left. Uh, if you could perhaps deliver a message to the government of Israel, to Benjamin Netanyahu, what would you say? And what is your message to Hamas? I, 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 let me 
talk about Netanyahu first. Um, I think if um, if after the October 7th, uh, he wouldn't have rushed to bomb and, and, and if he'd let, you know, just a, 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 a bit of time to understand what happened, to, uh, to grieve, and maybe waited a week, you know, we have a custom Mary Shiva, we, we, for seven days we mourn our dead in, in the Jewish religion. If he'd given that, then the whole thing would have looked different. But he's, it's not in his interests. He, he's working, you know, he's a politician, he works from interests. And Hamas, wow. What can I say? Um, I wish they didn't do what they did. It started this whole ball rolling. Um, yeah, and, the, and, and that the problem here is thousands and thousands of civilians, innocent civilians, are the ones who are paying the price here. I so appreciate you joining us. Um, Ayala Shalev, thank you.